Welcome to Lead Loud. My name is Rich Mulholland. I'm the founder and chief evangelist of Presentation Powerhouse Missing Link. Now, every week, the Missing Link team and I, we try and answer a question for you around presenting better, public speaking, just showing up well when you're standing in front of other people. This week, I don't want to answer a question for you, Serge, but I want to share with you a top we hack for presenting online. Now, unfortunately, this one has a prerequisite. You got to be using this bad boy, but I'll explain to you why you should be using it anyway and why this will really, really help you when you're presenting online. It's a small thing, but it's the small things that become the big things. So stick around. <laughs> All right, so when I'm presenting online, one of the challenges that I have is that I want to keep engaging with the audience. I often think that one of the best things about presenting online is my audience is no longer a passive observer. They're now an active participant. So I'll be jumping into the chat and I'll be doing things and I'll be coming out. And because when I come out again, I want to all of a sudden uh, be able to click and forward my slides, but nothing can happen because what's changed is that my uh, app, Prezi, that I'm using in this case to control my slides is no longer the forefront app. And that's where this comes in, the Logitech Spotlight. You see, and again, I cannot say enough good things about this presenter. It is the presenter's presenter. It is beautiful, it holds well. It's got a really, really nice button that's right where you need it to be. So you can feel what your next slide is, what your previous slide is, and the spotlight mode. It's got a bunch of great features, but that's not what I wanna to talk to you about today. I wanna to talk to you about a tool that you're gonna use from presenting online uh, that will just give you that little bit of an edge. This is the tip that every single presenter should be using. I use it with Prezi, but you can also use it with PowerPoint. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my desktop now, and I'm going to show you exactly how I'd utilize it and how you can too. So let's get down to it. Okay. So here we are down on my dashboard. This is where I do everything. This is what I see when I'm presenting. I can see my Prezi that's here that I use to control my presentation. I can see my next slide is Logitech Spotlight slide. There we go. And I can see my Zoom. Now, this is obviously where I'm recording into. Sometimes if I'm doing a presentation online, it could be Zoom, it could be Teams, whatever the case may be. Now, let's say I was just about to do my reveal of my next slide, which was my, my Logitech presenter slide. I can see that there in my preview. And so I'm getting ready to build that up and say, guys, but you got to have one better kit. You got to have this. Boom. And it's not there because, of course, Zoom is the forefront application. And it's the forefront application because I changed over to do it. Now, obviously, I can quite quickly try my best to just sneak that over like that and do that there. But it turns out there's a slightly slicker way of doing that. And that's thanks to Logitech. So if you go to the settings of Logitech, what you can do is in this hold next button, you know, if I hold that in there, I can set this up, go down to here. And now what I can do is hit Alt and Tab. So there you have it, Alt and Tab. Now what happens when I hold this in, it will change what the current application is. So I can, there we go, you can see it like that. And that's what's changing there. This is great because this means let's hold it in, go back to Zoom. So now I'm, I'm realizing we're getting ready to present. I'm like, oh, nothing's happened. I carry on chatting, quick long press, that changes. Now I push the button and it goes in. I don't have to lose any eye contact. I don't have to do anything. And in fact, if I do want to jump into the chat as well, I can actually just go again. And there you go. You can see the foreground application, application just changes. It's such a small little thing, but again, it's the small little things that will separate you and help you achieve mastery in your presentations. So but just by remapping that button, being able to go change between what your current app is, it's going to be a lot better. It's going to give you a lot more freedom. So I hope you find that helpful. Oh, and it works just as well in PowerPoint too. All right, so I hope you find that helpful. I hope that it's making you want to run out and get yourself a Logitech Spotlight because they're great. I'll link to the links obviously below, but it's just a small little tip. Now, I guess the caveat is you could just remember to hit Alt-Tab and that will probably just change your site as well. This just makes things a little bit more slick. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you're excited and I hope you hit order already. Cool, until next time, lead loud. Peace. <laughs>